So one of the key capabilities we're really excited to share with you today is real-time conversational speech. Hey, ChatGPT. Hi, Mark. How are you? Oh, Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Well, folks, looks like Scarlett Johansson is lawyering up over this new OpenAI ChatGPT presentation. Can you help me calm my nerves a little bit? Oh, you're doing a live demo right now? That's awesome. Uh, does that voice sound familiar, folks? Well, I think we can connect the dots here. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman tweeted out on May 13th saying Her, a movie that came out in 2013 when people couldn't even fathom this type of technology. You know, to sum up the movie, it's a guy who had a broken marriage and ended up finding this technology where he could talk to this AI female. And he basically ends up falling in love with this entity of a person. Well, the voice of the AI is actually played by Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett actually claims that she was approached by the Open AI's head honcho in September, including Sam Altman, who she says wanted to hire her for the voice of the current ChatGPT 4.0 model. She says she considered it, but ended up declining. And Scarlett believes that they went ahead and got a voice that sounded exactly like hers for this new AI, based off the voice in the movie Her. Let's do a little voice comparison here with the movie and this presentation. You have a meeting in five minutes. That's it. How do you feel? And I mean, she has a point. They kind of sound uncanny to one another, in my opinion. So, you know, fast forward after Scarlett denied the offer and this presentation rolled out, a lot of people thought they sounded very similar and even Scarlett agreed with it, which is why she's lawyering up basically saying they hired somebody who sounded just like her. Scarlett released a statement saying, as a result of their actions, I was forced to hire legal counsel who wrote two letters to Mr. Altman and OpenAI, setting out what they had done and asking them to detail the exact process by which they created the Sky Voice. Scarlett goes on to say, consequently, OpenAI reluctantly agreed to take down the Sky Voice in a time where we're all grappling with deepfakes and the protection of our own likeness, our own work, our own identities. I believe these are questions that deserve absolute clarity. I look forward to resolution in the form of transparency and the passage of appropriate legislation to help ensure that individual rights are protected. So I mean, she's making fair points and the fact that she denied this offer already showed that she wasn't consenting to her voice being used in this fashion and she doesn't really wanna be attached to the AI brand, you know? I don't know why, like this is an incredible opportunity in my opinion. Talk about brand recognition. Everybody who's using AI would be hearing your voice and therefore your name would be out there and people would probably go see your movies more. Like it's a win-win, but anyway, she doesn't want anything to do with it. I don't know how far you can go with a lawsuit with a person that sounds like you. How does that have any grounds to sue somebody? Maybe she knows more than I do, but I mean, the Sam dude at least agreed to take it down, so. Here we are. It's kind of cool that they are developing more intelligence with these AI models to where you can actually have a conversation back and forth and they understand you a little bit more on like, you know, like a Google Home where it always says it doesn't understand. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this story in the comments below and you guys know the drill. Ta-ta for now. Really?